experiments with water part 1 in this part of the video you will learn and understand what floats and what sinks in water you will learn to identify the things that float on water and that sinks in water understand the terms like density gravity by and force displacement of water understand the reasons why few objects float and few sink in water this is the first page of the chapter uh, experiments with water chapter number 7 a very small story is given here aisha washed as her mother rolled out the puri and put it in the hot oil she saw that at first the puri sank to the bottom of the pan as it puffed up the puri came up and started floating on the oil one puri did not puff up and did not float like the others on seeing this aisha took some dough and rolled it into a ball she flattened it and put it in a bowl of water alas it sank to the bottom and stayed there now the question arises how does a flattened puri puff up when it is put in a pan containing hot oil very simple reason just think of the answer let us find out dough dough means a mixture of flour water etc used for baking into bread or roti or puri i think all of you must have seen dough at your home in hindi it is called as gutha atta this is the picture of dough these are the small balls which are cut from dough and then it is flattened into small puris when the puri is put into hot oil after some time it puff up and float on the surface of oil so the question is how does it float why does it puff when we put flattened puri in hot oil due to the heat of hot oil the water or the moisture in the dough evaporates and changes into steam due to which puri floats on the surface of oil in the pan think just think what would happen if we put the puffed puri in a bowl of water would it sink or float now you have to take the puffed puri and put it in a bowl of water find out what would happen whether it will float or sink what would happen if we put flattened puri in a pan containing normal or cold water so here you have learned that in hot oil due to heat of the oil the moisture which was present in the dough changes into steam and because of that steam the puri puffed up this question is if you put the puri in a pan containing normal or cold water whether it will puff up or not find out will the puri puff up and float in cool water why find out the answer and write it now one activity we will do that uh, find out what floats and what sinks in water for this you have to collect some common things and put them in a bucket of water one by one and record your observation these are the list of few common things which you can find in your house also mm, like match stick iron nail plastic ball rubber ball buttons leaf scale pencil eraser uh, you can make paper boat also and you can uh, fill uh, air in the balloon that is called as inflated balloon 
put these things one by one in a bucket of water and try to find it out what float and what sink. Why does this happen? Why few things float and few things sinks in water? Usually we say things which are heavier than water sinks in water. And things which are lighter than water floats on water. But a wooden boat float and an iron ship also float. Whereas a needle light as a leaf thin as a pin, sinks in water. So we have to find out the reason for these things. Myths related to float and sink. Usually what children think or other people also think about the things which float and sink. What they think that heavy objects sink and light objects float regardless of their size, shape, or the type of material used to make them. A true floating object must be wholly above the surface of the liquid. It is usually people think like this. All objects that float must contain some trapped air and that is the only reason why they float. The amount of liquid on which the object floats matters somehow. That is an object will float higher in a larger volume or deeper liquid. These are all the myths which usually people think about the objects or the things which float and sink. But if we see the scientific reason, the scientific facts to float, the weight force of an object must be balanced by the upward push by the water on the object. The amount of material and the type of material that makes up the object affects the size of the weight force on the object. The volume of the object which can often be altered by changing the shape will affect the size of the upward push on the object. These are the scientific facts related to the objects which float and which sinks in water. We will try to understand it one by one. What factors are responsible for an object to float or sink? Shape, material, density, gravity that is called as pulling force, buoyant force that is called as pushing force and the ability to displace water. So these are the few factors which are responsible for an object to float or sink. Children for you, uh, the density or the gravity, buoyant force, ability to displace water, these are the new terms. So let us try to understand these terms one by one. Density is a new word for you. Children, everything which occurs on earth, that all are made up of molecules. Molecules are so tiny that you cannot see with your naked eyes. In some objects like iron, rocks, coins, marbles, molecules are tightly packed. Whereas in objects like wood, sponges, cork, molecules are less tightly packed. So we can say that how closely molecules are crowded together in a space is called density. Now let us try to understand with the help of this picture. This picture shows car parking area. Both the areas are equal. They have equal space. In first area, you can see only 3 cars are parked and in the second, 14 cars are parked. So we can say the second parking area is more dense than the first one. In the same way, look at this picture, both land areas are same. 
but the first one has more number of trees as compared to the second it means it is more dense dense means bahut ghana or we can say very tightly packed solid liquid and gas are formed due to arrangement of molecules now see the picture in the first picture you can see all the molecules they are very tightly packed and when molecules are very tightly packed they form solid just like your eraser just like your pencil just like your toys in the second picture you can see the molecules are somewhat less tightly packed and some space are also shown in between and in this way liquids are formed just like water in the third one you can see all the molecules they are very loosely packed and this forms gas like steam so in solids molecules are dense in liquids molecules are less dense and in gases molecules are loose in different solids like wood iron plastic rubber etc the molecules are packed differently which makes the object more or less dense let us take an example of 1 kg iron and 1 kg cotton compare 1 kg of iron and 1 kg of cotton find out which object is heavy and which is light in weight what do you think which occupy more space 1 kg of cotton occupy more space than 1 kg of iron because it is loose 1 kg of iron is more compact and occupy less space whereas both the objects are of 1 kg weight force of gravity this is the pulling force exerted by the earth because of this force everything is attracted towards the earth and remains stable when we place an object in water due to force of gravity it moves downwards by in force this is upward force exerted by water or any liquid this acts opposite to force of gravity this force pushes the object upwards observe this picture by and force is the force which is exerted by water or any liquid this is upward force and this is the force which is called as force of gravity which pushes the object downwards if the force of gravity is less than by and force then the object will float whereas if the force of gravity is more as compared to by and force then the object will sink displacement of water when an object is put into water it tries to make room for itself and because of this action water is moved or displaced now observe this picture this is the initial level of water which we can say a and in the second picture you can see a key which is inside the water so when it moves inside it tries to make room for itself and while doing this action it displaces some water you can see this this was the initial level of water and then the level of water moves up so this b minus a or this water level which is increased is the water displaced shape can also help an object float 
a ball of clay will sink but a cano shape made from the same amount of clay can float because it displaces more water cano shape means boat shape a cano shape can push more fluid out of its way in relation to its weight the amount of air inside of an object can also help it to float no doubt shape matters ships are very heavy but inside a ship there is a lot of hollow space filled with air ships have large flat surface area when more of the surface area touches the water it pushes more water out of its way also the force of gravity balances the buoyant force so a big ship floats on water why empty bottles balloons and balls float on water empty bottles balls and balloons are hollow things which contain air air is less dense than water so they float on water why does a boat or ship float on water but a iron nail or a pin sink in water boats and ships have flat surface they displace more water with the, than their weight the buoyant force the upward force acting on boats and ships is more than the force of gravity in case of nail needle or pin they have curved surface they displace less water and the force of gravity is more than the buoyant force of water as you have learnt about density force of gravity buoyant force displacement of water and shape now you have to apply your learning on this activity this is an activity from your textbook three columns are given things to be put in water i guessed before i did it i saw when i did it so first of all you collect all these things which are given in column 1 like empty bowl some pebbles iron nail or pin matchstick empty plastic bottle bottle half filled with water bottle full of water aluminium foil soap cake a small plastic plate and a piece of ice so first of all complete the second column and then after that you put all these things one by one in a bucket of water and write down whether the things float or sink as per your observation after completing this table fill in the blanks the iron nail dash in water but the katori dash i think this happened because apply your learning the empty plastic bottle dash in water the bottle filled with water dash because dash the aluminium foil dash when it was spread out when pressed tightly into a ball it dash this may have happened because so whatever you have learned apply your knowledge and complete this work ice floats in a glass of water how let us try to understand ice is a solid form of water but ice has less density than water because the molecules are 
not much densely packed. Ice could displace more water than its weight. The force of gravity acting on ice is less than the bind force of water. So it floats on water. Now we'll do one activity and this activity is called as lemon magic. Take a glass of plain tap water. Put a lemon in it. Does the lemon sink or float in water? Of course, the lemon sank in water. Now take two spoonful of table salt and put in the same glass of water. Stir it. Now observe the chains. Find out the chains in position of lemon that was sank in water. What chains do you observe? Of course, in salty water, the lemon floats in water. How this happens, let us try to understand it. The density of plain tap water is less than the density of salty water. How? Tap water plus salt is equal to salty water. Due to its density, the plain water has less upward pushing force than the weight force of the lemon. So, Lemon could displace less water than its weight and sink in water. Due to presence of salt in plain water, its density increases. The upward pushing force becomes more than the weight force of the lemon. So lemon is pushed up and floats in salty water. Try to revise our understanding with the help of some examples. Uh, logs of wood float in river water and are transported from hilly areas to plains. Iron rods cannot be transported like this because iron sink in water. In this case, wood is less dense than iron. So, wood floats on water and iron sinks in water. Ball of clay sink in water, but if changed into dia or pot, will float because of its shape. In this case, dia or pot have more surface area, which could displace water. Not only solids have different densities, but liquids also have different densities. Densities means? Arrangement of molecules. Objects that sink in plain water could float in salty water due to change in density and bind force, as in case of lemon. Oil floats on water due to difference in density. Now to summarize, to float, the weight force of an object must be balanced by the upward push by the water on the object as in case of ship or boat. The amount of material and the type of material that makes up the object affects the size of the weight force on the object. For example, a plastic ball and a iron ball. The plastic ball will float and iron ball will See, it is difference in amount of material. The volume of the object which can often be altered by changing the shape will affect the size of the upward push on the object. A round object is if changed into flat object, there will be the change in surface area and there will be change in the upward push as well as the displacement of water. So all these things that help us object to float or to sink. Thank you for observing the video.